What's up, everybody? Fuente Friday in the house today, live from Lord Puffer Cigar JJ. What's up, everybody? So, like, this is a good Friday afternoon, almost off work, Halloween weekend jam. I just wanted to come with today. Just like it. It's got that old school boom bap. I've got some old school good deals for you today, everybody, including some incredible stuff that has to do with this shirt right here, baby. This shirt right here. I've got them. It's called the double XL and the XL sale, right? So I put all my double XLs and XLs because that's all I have left on the website for sale for cheap. And I want to show them to you. Uh, we're going to go over that today. Going to go over the deals today. Check in with me. Hit me up on comments. Let me know who is here. Raymond, what's up? Let me know who is here and what you're smoking, where you're from, uh, what group you watch in. Because I post to all kinds of groups all over the place. And I am just chilling. I am just chilling here in Escondido, California. Right outside of San Diego, Lord Puffer Cigars. It's Fuente Friday, y'all, and I am excited. Let's see who else is on here. Oh, VIP straight out of Las Vegas. My man, James Jimenez, chilling at home while smoking a Casa Cuba. That is the way to do it, James. I'm just going to tell you right now, I got to get this sound machine going today because I'm feeling it today. I am feeling it today. It is going to be sound machine day today. No doubt. We are going to get some people because you know what? We are all happy that it is Fuente Friday. Um, and it's just going to be an incredible day today. I've got a, a great deal. Eight cigars coming your way at an incredibly good uh, deal. Uh, I mean, it's going to just, it's going to break the banks of all y'all on a Friday. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see all this is here. Peter. Peter, what is up all the way from London, chilling at the Cigar Lounge UK. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Uh, let's see who else is on here. Mr. Ken Smith, VIP of Lord Puffer, checking in today. Raymond is still here. Philly, he's working. Wow, going strong. Fuente 888 today. I mean, that's a strong move. That is a strong, strong move. Move, I think for that, that's what I'm saying, Raymond. That's, way to go, buddy. Raymond, you are absolutely killing it today. Um, this table is killing me today because it won't stop. There we go. Won't stop, can't stop, don't stop. Tyler is smoking in Oro Escuro number four this Fuente Friday. Ooh. In a Diamond Crown Lounge, nonetheless. Oh, my Lord. That sounds like a plan. Oh, this is even worse. This stupid table. It's killing me. You know, you got these handcrafted, amazing floors here at Lord Puffer, and they just don't always add up to be even because it's just so beautiful looking. But, man, it really causes trouble for my mouse. All right. So I think we got it back. Uh, let's see who else we got here. James, thank you, buddy. Um, it's Friday. Everybody should be excited today. Um, it's Friday. It is getting forward to the weekend to whatever that Halloween experience is going to be this year. I have no idea what it's going to be like. Um, I, I, I just don't know. I just don't know what Halloween is going to be like. But four minutes into this Facebook live show, I am already ready to do the deal. Let's see the deal. Let me show it to you like this. Okay. It's $79.99. All right. And it's four. The four by four. That's what I'm calling it. It's the four by four. Bang. There it is. It's the four by four today, y'all. Four by four today. Four by four today. Four Casa Cuba Doble Cuatro, which is the double four. Four, four. And you got the Magnum R 50 dose. You got that one. So you got eight cigars today for $79.99 plus shipping. Uh, this is a crazy good deal. Brick and mortar only stuff. Uh, we're selling it from our brick and mortar to you. It's four cigars of Casa Cuba goodness and four cigars of Magnum R Rosado goodness. It's the four by four pack. 
Brought to you by Lord Puffer Tobacconist right here in Escondido, California. I am looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say about this deal. Let me know what is up with this deal today. All right. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Um, too bad you're not in Vegas. I'll be there in 40 hours. Wow. 40 hours, James Lindsay. I remember that time you were in San Diego, uh, about 30 minutes away um, from me. And I did not get to see you. Yeah, I remember that time. Do you remember that time, James Lindsay? Do you remember that time when your Dallas Cowboys were good? Yeah, I just had to throw that in there. I just wanted to throw that in for you, James. Because you're just rubbing it in my face, right? I will. If you say, JJ, I'm going to be in Vegas. Why don't you come up to Vegas and hang out Monday and Tuesday on your day off? I mean, maybe there's something that could happen, James. But you kind of shut me down with your too bad you're not in Vegas attitude. Yeah, that's right, James. I'm a little saucy today. What do you think about that, James? Donnell Thomas! Happy friend day, my guy. Smoking an Opus X after this round of golf. Donnell is on the golf course. I mean, that is pretty fantastic. Uh, he's in Vegas as well. He is a Las Vegas Metro police officer. He runs the CDL Cigar Club. And uh, I've been known that uh, it's been known around town now that uh, he is also a very frequent uh, visitor, friend, family member of the brand new Sugar Daddies out in Las Vegas. If you guys have not checked out Sugar Daddies, check them out. Big old place. Lots of fun out there. I can't wait to visit. It's one of the places I will be visiting when I finally get back to Vegas. Hey, guys, I haven't been back to Vegas since May, right? So I haven't. I, I just haven't. Oh, yeah. I just haven't had it yet. Oh, if you don't drink out of this cup on Fuente Friday, there's something wrong with you. Mmm. Miguel Rodriguez. Hey, Miguel, if you want to check in with me today. Just let me know. You know you're always welcome. If you want to come on, I'll send you the link. Join up, brother. Bring you on for a couple minutes. Find out what's going on with you. Oh, man, look at this. This is a nice one. Look at this. Um, Michael is like, happy Friday to all of you at Lord Puffer. I've smoked good cigars for a long time. I still do today. I have to get up in 35 minutes to shower. Oh, too much information, Michael. No, it's perfect. I like it. Get ready for work. Have to be there at 5 p.m. Not home till 5.30 a.m. Holy Fuente Friday, Michael. That's a serious deal right there. Hey, there's my Yogi, Allison Trainer. What's up? If you guys haven't checked out Yogi's and Stogie's, check out Allison. She's doing some cool shiz with yoga and Stogie's. And apparently it's a Fuente Friday. Hope all is well. Looks like a great deal. Thank you, Miguel. I do appreciate you, my friend. You guys have had have not had a chance yet to check out Miguel Rodriguez and his bro Frankie, the Bakersfield gentleman. Uh, you gotta go. You gotta go check them out. They do a great show. They they have I think 337 shows a day, uh, and um, it's pretty pretty incredible. Who? Yeah, Allison. It's pretty awesome. Thank you, Ken Smith. I believe it's a great deal as well. Steve Frioli is watching in the studio audience today. My man, Steve Frioli. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. James is in with Casa Cuba. That's what I'm talking about. San Diego is forever away from Escondido. Bull honky. Sorry, James Lindsay. Forever? Forever. Forever, ever? Forever, ever? Yeah, I don't think so, James. Uh, I think... Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wait, hold on, James Lindsay. Wait, James Lindsay. What? James Lindsay says. What? Oh, really? Does not compute. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Does so, not James. Uh, everyone else that visits San Diego comes the twenty minutes up the road. I mean, that might be hard for you. Uh, I don't know. But let's give you the benefit of the doubt, James. You were with your now wife, and um, it's pretty fantastic that you got to go somewhere in San Diego, very close to Lord Puffer, and not visit. Thanks, James. Um, wow. 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 <laughs> he was five the last time they were good. You know, that's pretty true. That's pretty true. That's pretty true. Oh, Miguel had to correct me. Uh, 338 shows a day is what uh, the Bakersfield gentlemen currently are uh, rolling at. So they are doing that show 
uh, at least 300 times a day. That's the way it looks. Brian Lewis, what's up, buddy? How are you? Uh, if you guys haven't checked out Brian on Facebook, check him out. He's a lot of cool stuff, a lot of good pictures, a lot of good reviews, uh, just an all-around good dude. Check him out, Big B. Um, let's also, uh, yeah, absolutely, yogis and stogies.com, Allison. You are absolutely welcome, and you are smoking a bestseller today. All right, I think that um, that catches me up on everybody who is watching today. Let me shoot up that deal again to you. Let me shoot up that deal again to you because it's a deal – that I think all of you should be checking out um, today. Uh, it's it's probably one of my favorite deals that I've put together in a while because I like the four by four. If you know anything about California, Nevada, I think even, even in Arizona, there's in and out burgers. There's this thing called, there's this thing called a four by four at in and out in and out four by four, the in and out four by four. Four patties, just like four Casa Cuba doble cuatros. And then four big pieces of cheese, right? Just like the four Magnum Mars. Can you tell I'm still on my diet? Because I am just absolutely doing this, doing this, doing this. Like this diet is killing me, bro. A four by four is all, uh, that's what I'm saying. So let's show this deal. This deal is crazy good. It's right here. Bang, zoom. It's four cigars, man. Four Casa Cuba Doble Cuatros, right? Which is like a short, almost like a like a little thinner nub style. It's a little bit. It's like a short Robusto, right? And then you got this, this beautiful Magnum uh, 52, right? So 52 ring gauge, and a, it's a pretty much a straight Robusto. Um, love the size. I'm smoking a little bit of bigger one here on the show today just because that little one doesn't last me the entire time. Uh, but that's the deal today. Go right on to lordpuffercigars.com, uh, click on Fuente Friday deals, and there it is. That is the deal for the day. Now, I do have something else I want to show you today. If any of you are interested, you go on the website, you click on shirts. It's on the Fuente Friday page. So if you go on the Fuente Friday page, you're going to see these shirts. I have only double XLs and XLs, and I got to get rid of them, right? So I think there's like eight or nine, something like that, of each size, but I want them gone. $64.99. It's this shirt I have on, right? So oh, this side. So you've got the Opus X Fuente Fever, 33 degrees, which is pretty much San Diego, 33 degrees latitude. You have, oh, it's on this arm. You got the Lord Puffer on this arm, all buttoned down, beautiful shirt. Uh, it's uh, the Port Authority shirts, right? Port Authority shirts. Then I also have it in the anniversary, sorry, the 20th anniversary blue, right? So you've got the blue and the yellow, this side. you got the blue and the yellow, Fuente Fever. And then on the uh, arm, you've got the gold, right? So these shirts are normally, they're sold $79.99 in the store. So I'm busting them out for $64.99 on the website, but you got to get them today uh, because once I put them out to the retail store, they're going to be gone. They are going to be gone. All right, so that is how it works. Uh, if you have a chance to get some, Right. If you have a chance to get those today, I would absolutely. Um, yeah, I would all absolutely do it because it's a great deal. Oh, what's that mean? All righty, everybody. Um, I have got some news for you. Yes, I know. Wait, you need a three X. Ah, I don't have a three X, dude. I sold out of my three X. Ah, crap, man. San Diego. Are you guys close to San Diego? Yes. Jeez, we're close to San Diego. I used to have a 3X, James, but now we are good. Let's see who this is here. Hi, JJ. It's good to see you doing this. Whoa, the Robania family loves you. Ah, Is that who that is? Is that my good old man, Hirochi Robaina, celebrating his wife's birthday today? Hirochi, if that is you. All I see is Facebook users, so I can't tell who it is. Um, but I'm guessing that's who that is. Uh, I don't know. We'll see who that is. We'll find out. We'll find out. Yeah. See, see Milton, Milton knows what is right down the street. It's right down the street. I'm this is going to be the nice stringer for the show is going to be how James Lindsay came to San Diego and did, did thought it was too far to go to Escondido. Esco. You couldn't make it up to the Esco. Jeez, James Lindsay. 
the only thing that you could do to make it up to me is to tell everybody how great of a deal this is. And uh, yeah, get yourself some Casa Cuba and some Magnum R's, baby. Did I tell you that it's $79? $79.99 plus shipping, man. Eight cigars. That's what I'm talking about. That's a great deal right there. All right. Um, so let's talk about this big weekend. All this big week, we've got something so special and so important uh, on the calendar coming up. And uh, I can't, you know, I, I can't wait for it. Uh, it, it scares me a little bit. Um, people are up in arms and crazy about all the things that are going on right now in the world. And this week is going to be a crazy week to discuss it. Um, and I'd like to know your thoughts. Okay. It's a big subject that's, uh, you know, gets a lot of people riled up and that is, what are you guys going to do on November 18th when the brand new Hemingway Rare Pink is going to be released to the public and create a mass hysteria all around the United States? Because we won't know who's getting what, how long they're going to have them, how many boxes we're going to get, what it's going to look like, taste like, who the freak knows. Now, you better be prepared because JJ's going crazy on that day. JJ is going to be going live, smoking it. The minute it comes off of the freaking UPS truck, I'm not waiting. I'm getting it out. I'm smoking that special size. Yes. That's the big news. I don't know what you guys were thinking I was going to talk about what's happening this weekend or next week. This is a Halloween freaking election. No, dude, 25th anniversary of Opus X. And we have got the freaking Hemingway rare pink. Coming out in a new wrapper, a new blend, dude. It's gonna it's gonna drop bombs all over the place, baby. People are gonna be going nuts. If you're not going nuts for that, and you're going nuts for some other crap you can't control, you're absolutely crazy. Drink your Arturo Fuente coffee and come see me on November 18th or wherever close, right? For real close. James Lindsay. See, this is why I love this man. He comes through for me every time. That's what I'm talking about. You can't find a deal that good since the Cowboys were in the Super Bowl, which is, I don't know, 20-some years ago. Man, thank you, though, James. That's a very good endorsement from you, my friend. That is a very, that's a huge endorsement. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you, my brother, for recognizing a good deal. All right, so um, I haven't had any of you talking to me yet that you want to come on the show uh, or that you would like to talk about this November 18th amazing opportunity for people to see everything that's coming out from good old Mr. Carlito Fuente and creating something awesome for us. In November. So what is it that you all want to talk about today? I would love to know uh, what it is you would like to see. Uh, is anybody going to buy a shirt? Like that's an important part to me. I want to clear out this inventory. I'm blowing it out. Um, I think at the Fuente event, they were $99. Um, and then they went down to, to 79. And now I'm rocking them out on the website at $64.99. And I want you all to have this shirt. We can wear them together. We can show up at the Fuente Friday show wearing the same shirt. You can come on the show. You can say hi to me. You can be wearing your shirt. Does anyone want to join me? If you have a computer, if you have a phone, if you just have a phone and you're listening in your ear pods or not, you can join me on this podcast. I'd love to see you today. I'd love to talk to you. i got about uh, 40 minutes left of this, this time frame. And uh, besides me, and this amazing machine um, that I have here. Oh, oh, wow. I, this is the absolute best sound machine ever. Whoa, what's it doing? Right? So it's, it's been a lot of fun. Whoa, what's up? Oh, wow. We have to sound the alarm. Wow. That's the Michi Brito 
Alarm. Michi's in the house. Michi's in the house. James Lindsay has a question. JJ, what are you dressing up as for Halloween? Um, I like to keep it a secret. Uh, I like to keep it a secret. I would love to know what all of you are dressing up as for Halloween. Uh, but let's go through the list of things that I have been. All right. Things I have been for Halloween. Uh, I have been Paul Stanley. If you know who that is, that is the star child uh, of the band Kiss. I have been Paul Stanley many a times. Uh, big fan of Kiss growing up and as a child. I was pretty much a Kiss character for my entire, uh, I think up until I was d double digits. So I have been Paul Stanley. Um, more recently, uh, I have done the Fred Flintstone. Um we did that a couple of years ago. Uh, then we had um, I, one of my favorites of all time, Nacho Libre. Uh, I pulled off a very, very good Nacho. Uh, and I put together the suit myself. I didn't go buy the suit. I went and actually bought tights and everything. It's a pretty incredible picture. Uh, one day I will show it. That's actually probably should have been a good segment on the show. I should maybe hire James Lindsay as my producer. Um, uh, I have also gone as a monk. Yes. A monk. I had one of those nice balding on the top, but hair down here. So bald up here, hair down here, nice big robe. I did that one year at the, the, uh, in Fuego Henderson Halloween party where we did it up like crazy. Um, and then um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, oh, you know what else? I was uh, Dwight from The Office. That was a great costume. Again, put it together myself, found myself a mustard colored suit, a nice tie, mustard colored tie, found the glasses, parted the hair. It's pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Oh, what's this? Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. So what's so what's so what's the scenario? Uh, yo, Bo knows this. What? And Bo knows that. What? But Bo don't know Jack. What? Yeah. Who is this Facebook user? Let me know who you are because it just says Facebook user. But I absolutely love the Tribe Called Quest reference right here. I can do that all day long. Throw out your references. And then let's throw a few verses on those. That would be fantastic. Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. So what, so what, so what's the scenario? Oh, back in the days of the Boulevard of Linden, I used to kick routines and the Pleasance was fit and it was I, the Pfeiffer. I mean, the Pfeiffer. I can do it all day long. It doesn't matter. So step up the Frankfurter. Yo, I'm point five all the time, tip. Oh, this is my man, Don Juan. All right, so let me just tell you a little bit about Don Juan. Uh, Don Juan Gross came all the way from L.A. to come see your boy J.J., Cigar J.J. here at Lord Puffer last night. And we talk about, about amazing stuff. Like, it's great when you have a friend, right? You have a, a friend who shows up um, and just makes your day. Well, that was Don Juan last night. He showed up. Here's the deal again. Uh, let's see here. Chris was asking for it. Chris was asking for that's the cigar deal or no, sorry, Sharif. Sorry, Sharif. Uh, that's the deal for the day. But you know, you have a friend like Don Juan who shows up and you just end up talking about everything. We talked about the cigar industry. We talked about um, his experiences as a black owned cigar company. We uh, talked about loving everyone and staying neutral in all the times of all this kind of everybody against each other stuff. And it was just a fantastic time. You know, I usually am like at nine o'clock. I want to get out of here and go home, snuggle with my kid, my wife, and, you know, go to bed and wake up and do it the next day. But last night, man, we were here till almost 12 o'clock at night, just reminiscing about everything. Don Juan is highly connected in the entertainment world. And so we were talking about everything from Michael Jackson to Quincy Jones to Biggie and Pac and all of his fun stories about all that stuff. And it's it just, you know, you know, when you have a friend like that, that comes around 
and uh, it's like time hasn't passed and you just are shooting the shit about everything that's going on in your life. Uh, what's great for Don Juan is that his Dignity Cigar brand is doing fantastic. Every cigar that comes in is sold and that's all you can ask for as a cigar maker. So much props, much good energy goes out to my man, Don Juan Gross, uh, Dignity Cigars. Um, just a fantastic gentleman. Uh, truly a lover of the leaf, an incredible blender. <laughs> so it's just a fantastic opportunity. Check out Don Juan Cigars, um, Dignity. Anywho, thank you, Don Juan, for checking in and throwing in some of that old school stuff. Oh, it's Arlene Becton. Arlene Becton, grown ass cigars and their big, thick, whatever that thing. What? What's your name of your group again? Big, sexy, and their big cigars. Grown and sexy and their big cigars. It's part of the grown ash family on the West Coast. Shout out to my man, Robert Brown. Um, Arlene, what's going on? What's shaking? What's shaking? Let's show this deal again. Look at this deal, Arlene. Look at this deal, Arlene. You're going to freak out about this deal, Arlene. Look at this Fuente Friday. Boom. Four Casa Cuba, four Magnum R, $79.99. Oh, and, I'm, and, and these shirts, XLs and double XLs, is $64.99. I want to sell this stuff today, y'all. Look at this picture, Arlene. Look at this picture. This is just absolute goodness right there. I mean, that is just absolute goodness. Mm. All right. Now, we have not yet. Wait, 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 what? Grown and sexy in the big scars. Wait, you're going to Vegas. Arlene Becton, don't you know that you and Stan need to let me know these things? Why don't I get to know? Arlene's going to Vegas. I haven't been to Vegas since May. And let me tell you, everybody, it is not hard. It is not. Diff it is very difficult to be away. Right? My kids are up there. I like Vegas a lot. It's a lot of fun. Beautiful deal. Arlene, have fun in Vegas. Uh, Abby and Lily will be driving there tomorrow for some Halloween action. Uh, Arlene, I uh, hope you have some fun up there. Go visit all of our friends and say hello to everybody for me. That's fantastic. Doble Cuatro Casa Cuba. Yes, Doble Cuatro. It's a Doble Cuatro Casa Cuba and a Magnum R52 Rosado. Yes, James, you and Arlene will be in Vegas at the same time. You guys should hook up. Uh, James and Arlene guys would hit it off. Great. You both love Lanceros. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I see it as a, a, a instant friendship right away. Uh, James Arlene is one of the coolest people, uh, married to one of the coolest people as well. Stan, the man is fantastic as well. Uh, you guys should definitely hook up and check it out. That would be so fun for you guys to get together. Um, yeah, so it's, a. uh, a quattro, a four by four, the four by four deal. Casa Cuba and Magnum R today. That's the deal. Uh, it's it comes out to be about ten dollars a cigar. What? Ten dollars a cigar is what I said. What? I said ten dollars a cigar. Punch. That's right. That is right. Um. All right. So. We have, uh, like I said, something. Uh... Oh, my gosh. Oh, look who's checking in today. Hey, Carlito Fuente. Happy Fuente Friday to me from Mr. Carlos. Carlito Fuente Jr. Thank you, Carlito. So great to see you on the show today. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for uh, sending me those special gifts. Nathan presented me with the gifts. And... I have something to tell all of you. I smoked the Opus X Dubai, the Desierto del Mor. Uh, and I will tell you this. Um, I guess they keep special things for Dubai because that's one heck of a special cigar right there. That is a heck of a special cigar. The Dubai smoked on the day in which the Dodgers won, the Dodgers won the World Series Smoked it that next morning because it was a little chilly here in California and I didn't want to go outside and be cold and not enjoy my smoke. So I had it as a celebration smoke the next morning and absolutely loved it. Dude, Dubai is a very complex, a very balanced, 
uh, and strong uh, cigar. I thought at first it was going to be more a little bit along the lines of the Angel Share, where it was kind of not uh, not that power, uh, really super hit you up kind of. I don't know if it's the it's the sweetness, the cognac, whatever that is in the Opus that makes it that way. I thought it was going to be more mild. And the first puffs, yeah, it was. It kind of was. I was like, oh man, it's going to be like a, a really cool Angel Share. And then it just, bam, comes in with the flavor. Bam, comes in with the character. Bam, comes in with some body. Boom, comes in with a left with a little bit of sweetness. And then, bam, I'm just getting this left and right opus, beautiful experience. And I just was in heaven. And the thing is, is that's a big cigar, man. That's a big, big, big cigar. Like, it's thick, and it lasted me a good, whoa. Lasted me a good like two hours. That's what I gotta say. All right. Um, let's see here. Your Dyers. Dyers. Love of love. Today is the start of a Fuente Witchcraft Week. Whoa! I want to know about this witchcraft week. This sounds fantastic. I love that. PJ or Dubai, which is better? Um Gosh, I, honestly, I just think that's your preference on size. Flavor is off the chart on both of those cigars. Flavor is just off the chart on both. Uh, is the PJ more rare to find than the Dubai? I'm not sure. I, I don't really know where all these people get these crazy uh, Dubais from. I'm not sure how they're getting them unless they're going to Dubai. I don't know if there's some other market to get them, but I haven't been able to find them. So, you know, PJs were somewhat elusive and still are very rare and hard to find. But, uh, you know, does that get factored into it? I thought both of those cigars are great. One of them is more my size than the other, uh, but that doesn't take away from my experience. I mean, I'm smoking almost the same cigar as the Dubai right now in terms of size. And I, I love it just like I love the Dubai. So I was very, very, very happy with it. Carlos is already to the weekend. Carlito is at ready for the weekend, baby. Ready for the weekend. How exciting, JD. Congrats. I'm so happy that you enjoyed it. Yes, it was really, really, really good. Um, if you can find them, I would absolutely, uh, I'd absolutely give, give the shot to, to get into that. It's something that, uh, I was just blessed with to, to taste, and so I really liked it. Arlene is wow, Fuente Rich Witchcraft. Ha 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 ha. I think this is like a. I think this is like a, this is like a Carlito like. Um, I don't know what you want to call it, like a like a scary voice. You know what I mean, like a ghost voice or something. Like oh, I think I have one here. Hold on, let me see if I have. Do I have the ghost voice? Um, oh man, this would be so great with this sound effect. Like Fuente Friday Witchcraft Weekend. Right? I mean, isn't that like kind of like Fuente Friday Witchcraft Weekend? Whoa, that's scary, isn't it? These are all like no, there's no scary. This is not scary. It's like whoa. See, that's what I'm going to say. PJs is only through gifts or charity. Oh, okay. So PJ is definitely where it's going to be difficult. So yeah, yeah. And backed up here by Unicorn Hunter herself, uh, Arlene Becton. Fuente. This is his area. Ready? Here we go. Fuente weekend of witchcraft. Witchcraft weekend, Arturo Fuente. I like that. I think that's pretty good. Um, Carlos, just put a Texas flag ban on in Dubai and sell in Texas only. Come on, Big Papa. <laughs> oh, oh, James. James is coming in good today. Uh, like Sinatra says, it's witchcraft weekend. Witchcraft. That witchcraft. Thank you, Arlene. All right, guys, let's look at this deal one more time. This is the deal. It's four Casa Cubas and four Magnum R's. It's a Casa Cuba Doble Quattro, hence the Quattro e Quattro. 
four by four and for Magnum R Rosado 52s. It's a great deal. Um, and then don't forget, don't forget everybody. If you go onto the site, you're going to see the shirt I have on right now, right? It's a button down, beautiful shirt, Lord Puffer on the arm, right? In black and white. Now I only have double XL, right? I only have double XL and XL. Those are the sizes that were left over from the big Fuente fever event. Uh, and I have those and they are on sale on the website. Just go to Fuente Friday deals and it's right there beneath the Casa Cuba deal, and you will see these fine shirts. They are fantastic. What I love most about them is that they're kind of wrinkle resistant. And so once you get them pressed, you can wear them like, as long as you don't spill stuff all over them, you can wear them like five, six times. If you're not sweating and you're not like a freaking smelly freak, you can wear it as many times as you want. Um, I wear mine about every, every, every two weeks. I wear it twice a week to work. So that's what four times. And then I get them, um, I get them pressed. Uh, cleaned and pressed. But yeah, this is a very, very, very good uh, thing. Okay. So what are all of you dressing as uh, for the, um, for the weekend? What is your costume? Right? Yes. That's what I'm talking about. What are you going to be this Fuente Friday witchcraft weekend? Uh, I, uh, have not decided on whether or not I will be coming to the store on Saturday dressed in Halloween, uh, attire. Uh, but it has been something I have done every year. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, no, Brian Lewis, the shirt's uh, 64 99, 64 99, 64 99, Brian. And I only have XL and double XL. Uh, there's a little bit more of the white cream color than there are of the black color. Uh, Michi doesn't do Halloween, but enjoys watching others dress up as I like, I like watching people dress up. I think it'd be fine. I think it'd be fun. Grab the shirts, fellas. They're awesome and good quality. Yeah, they are. They're nice port authority. They're nice and thick and they're that wrinkle resistant material. I really like them. You should be Slimer from Ghostbusters. Huh? I got to think about it. So I have to be here tomorrow. 9 30 right we open at 10 and i'm gonna be here till 10 so i have to do something that is going to be like um uh i'm gonna be able to keep the costume on for 12 hours without feeling it's so crazy so makeup is out there's no makeup gonna happen i'm not doing makeup um this is not a bad idea i could go as the bad guy from cobra kai johnny uh, the bad guy from Karate Kid. I don't know if you remember him. He's the one that swept the leg, uh, beat up uh, Daniel when only his friends were around because he really wasn't that tough, uh, or listened to a really bad sensei and just did whatever he says. Uh, I could dress up as Johnny from Cobra Kai. Uh, that actually is a possibility. I actually thought about possibly doing that, Damien. Um, that was one of the things. Uh, Brian, let's see here. Your daughter's dressing him as Ghost, five and two years old. Man, it's such an easy one. Like I remember when I kids are young and it just like pop a costume on and it's good. Well, this year I'm like out all week long looking for uh, costume, costuming pieces because my 10-year-old daughter wants to be Luna Lovegood from the Harry Potter series. I have to find the special sunglasses, the special colored tights, uh, a, a pink jacket that has buttons all in the front. I have to buy the special wand, like every special little thing, you know, it's just rough, man. So take it as you can get it with the ghosts at five and two years old. Um, yeah, I, I don't even know what she's going to do for Halloween. I don't know if they're doing, I don't know if people are going to do the thing. I, I just don't, I don't, it's going to be an interesting thing to see what's going on. Michael Saban, what is happening, bro? I want to see you down here in uh, Lord Puffer here pretty soon, ma'am. Junior, beautiful wife to come down here and hang out with me uh, as soon as possible, please. That'd be so much fun. But I like this. I like this. Let's keep this going. I need some good ideas. Ooh, go as Prometheus. Ooh. He wears just a toga. A toga. Huh. 
Ah, I like that. I think that's a possibility there, James. Prometheus. Mmm, I like it. It's perfect for Halloween. Scarface. Ooh. Okay, I've got a suit. I could work that. I could work that. I got a little bit of the beard going. But I, I can't pull off that accent that whole time. Like all day, you know, I'd be like, you know, the Tony Montana. Would you like that in our robusto? I don't, I don't know. I can't even do it. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Yes, we will be getting something worked out. Oh, I can't wait. That's going to be so fantastic for you to visit us. Um, come on. Keep hitting me here with Halloween options for JJ tomorrow to where to work. I will post it on the Lord Puffer site if and when I do come in with a outfit tomorrow. Um, I think it is going to be a, a day when I will dress up. Uh, I just don't know what it is I'm going to be. Um, so I need some more ideas. I, I, I did like the Cobra Kai. I did, I did, that was something I thought of cause I could wear that outfit all day, feel good in it. Um, you know, whether I'm wearing the, 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 the bad color, the, the black color, Johnny's color, or I went with the white, the karate kid, Ralph Macchio, you know, Daniel son color, uh, robe, either one. Um, and, and I could put on Daniel's black belt as well because he is a black belt. Right, Damien? Yes. Um, anywho, um, what else could I consider being for Halloween? While all of you are considering that, um, Johnny is the good guy. I love it. He's still on it. He's still on it. Oh, Mike Toss. Mike Toss. The question is, is how does a how does a a pimp as myself dress as a pimp? Like, you know, like I'm big pimping pretty much all the time. So how do I dress as that? Like, do I go stereotypical? You know? Um, I don't know. Um push the envelope, dress as Carlito Fuente. Ooh. Oh, Dimitri. Ah, uh, Carlo Carlito is so classy. Like he's got way classier suits than I do. He's got sweet freaking guayaberas. Um, I have the hat, at least something similar. Um, good idea, Dimitri. I do like that. Uh, I do like that. Uh, let's see here. Michael Saban. Yes. Sweep the leg. Apparently you're a team Johnny. Uh, I am not. I'm a team Daniel. Uh, a buddy of mine had an accident as a kid and lost his foot from the ankle down. He is going as Dak Prescott. Oh, oh my gosh. That is rough, rough. Tiger King? Ooh, that would, I mean, okay, so Tiger King would be good. I could maybe do that because I just have to find a mullet. I'd have to find a mullet. Uh, wig. That is not a bad idea, Brian Lewis. Tiger King is a pretty good one. Uh, Damien Terminator, uh, maybe with just the glasses. Maybe just the sunglasses all day long. Uh, Got to get that leather coat. Yeah, see, Mike, that's what I think, right? I don't think there's any real... I don't know how, how I... I don't know how I could do that. Like Carlito can't be duplicated. You're absolutely correct. Um, Hey, Arlene. Oh, they're going back and forth. Uh, here we go. Laugh my, <laughs> uh, tiger King, second vote and shave your beard a little. Well, I had to shave it in weird spots. Cause he has like patches all over. Um, he had, I did like shave this part off and like that. Um, uh, tiger King, it, that I, I kind of like it, but I need some more options. I need some more options. I need y'all to help me out a little bit. Uh, meanwhile, while we're talking about what I should be, uh, let's not forget that today is one day Friday uh, and um, that you can go to lordpuffercigars.com anytime you want. Click on Fuente Friday deals and it's right there. If you guys haven't seen these cups. Oh, yeah. 
And there's a there's a rumor rumor on the streets that there might be some Arturo Fuente coffee coming to Lord Puffer Cigars sometime soon. I heard a rumor. I heard a rumor. Oh, they say you got a broken heart. Uh, this is the deal for the day, everybody. I mean a deal. That's a four by four. $79.99, four Casa Kiba cigars, and four Magnum R's. Uh, keep hitting me up with these Halloween options. So far, I'm digging the uh, Tiger Tiger King, which could also, let's be real, the Tiger King could also be Joe Dirt or Deer Tay, however you want to say it. Deer Tay or Joe Dirt. Because Joe Dirt's absolutely one of my favorite characters of all time and very much I think Tiger King modeled his life after Joe Dirt, except with tigers and not Brandy. Brandy the girl, not Brandy the drink. Um, <coughs> I do love it. Thank you, Michi. It is Fuente Friday. I do love it. Uh, don't forget, uh, Michi has a show on Casa Cuba Sunday. Don't miss it. Absolutely. What about a Baltimore Orioles from back in the day? You know, Damien, that's always my standby. I just throw my jersey on. Put a little eye black and JJ shows up as a Baltimore Oriole. Yes, I do like that. Um, Joe Dirt is fantastic. Uh, I would really. <clears throat> so you're telling me your beer girls. That's the Dennis Miller line, right? The Dennis Miller line where he's like, so you got to tell me, does your beard grow all in white trashy like that? Are you really from the trailer park? Is that really what you're doing? I know, James Lindsay. That's exactly Joe Dirt, right? I think I could pull off Joe Dirt for, for, for Halloween. Joe Dirt would be good. Chris Farley is always a good, but if but what Chris Farley are you gonna be? All right, are you talking? Are you Tommy Boy Chris Farley? Are you um Chippendales Chris Farley? Are you Chris Farley motivational speaker in a van? Down by the river. I'd love to come up with a security guard outfit and roll uh, as mall cop. Paul Blart. Paul Blart, mar cop, mar cop, mall cop, mall cop. Paul Blart. I think I could pull off a good Kevin James. I do. I think I could pull off a good Kevin James, uh, and it doesn't scare me. Doesn't scare me. I could be a different Chris Farley every year. I mean, he has so many good characters. Uh, one of my favorites is Gap Worker. The Gap Worker. When he plays the Gap Worker, it's one of the best Chris Farleys ever. Um, so you guys are coming up with some very, very, very good uh, options for me for Halloween for tomorrow. Uh, Mall Cop is leading the way, uh, followed by Tiger King. The Tiger King, Joe Dirt combination. Um, I I mean, I, I just can't think of much else. It's Fuente Friday. I can't think of anything Fuente related that I could be. Um, I could put my head in a point maybe, and I could just go as uh Hemingway. <laughs> what are you? I'm a Hemingway classic. I could just put an X on my face and be like, what in the heck are you? Well, I'm Opus X. Just put Opus on my head and then an X. I could be Opus X. Yeah. Ooh, good call here on this. School of Rock, Jack Black. I like that. I like the outfit that he wears, that uh, ACDC kind of looking thing at the end. That's kind of sweet. Um, <laughs> dress up like a Wajiro. <laughs> uh, you so funny, Michi. You so funnies. You so funny. You so funny. There's the difference between Joe Dirt and Tiger King is a cowboy hat. Go as both. I, I'm gonna say that's probably true. And there's a cowboy hat here at Lord Puffer that I could probably get into uh that I would like. So it's it's a very real possibility. All right. Everybody, we've got a very spooky deal today. And the spooky deal is this. I've got about five minutes here left. And I, I, I'd just be remiss if I didn't just tell you about the Casa Cuba number four. Casa Cuba four by four. 
Magnum R, 4x4. Fuente Friday, Witchcraft Weekend. We got that from Carlito Fuentes in the comments saying that that's... That's the deal, everybody. And that's the sound machine. If you haven't gotten yourself a sound machine, uh, it's pretty much one of the greatest things in the world that you can use um, in your in your everyday life to make your life better. Who doesn't need a sound machine during the day? I mean, just anything that happens. Right? Just makes everything better. Last of the comments, Zach G from The Hangover. Ooh, ooh. Have the baby right in the front. Sunglasses on. Could probably pull that off. Too many people are doing the Tiger King and Carol Baskin. My wife could pull off a good Carol Baskin, but she's not going to be here. Um, I don't know. I mean, I I'm really... Dick, Joe Dierte is is up there right now, along with Tiger King. Um, and I really like the mall cop idea. Uh, this hangover, Zach Galifianakis, that's a pretty good be part of the Wolf Pack. No one's going to be here with me working, though. Nathan is going back to Tampa because uh, things at the cathedral are starting to heat up. So he and Angela are going to be doing some incredible work down there over the next couple of weeks to get that thing hopefully open here by the mid-December to January. So that is pretty exciting. But I'll be here by myself, you know. <laughs> I love it. James Lindsay coming hard with some great Joe Dirt lines. I mean, oh. Uh, that if you haven't seen Joe Dirt, uh, I don't think you've lived. I'm just gonna say that. Uh, Baby Carlos, oh god, you gotta love Baby Carlos. It's perfect for Fuente Friday, right? Um, oh, thank you, Damien. That is uh, absolutely. Um, I appreciate that, buddy. I don't put as much time as I probably should into this show, but I do put enough in, and hopefully it uh, brightens your day and gets you ready for Fuente Friday. I uh, get you excited for all the things that are on LordPufferCigars.com. One, uh, makes you want to come down and check out what's going on down here in Escondido, California, right outside of San Diego and just a couple, about an hour and a half shy of uh, Los Angeles. Come on down, see us, see everything that's going on. Uh, largest humidor on the West Coast. It's walk in, you just walk in, everything's a humidor. Uh, we have the largest selection of Arturo Fuente cigars uh, virtually anywhere I've ever seen. Uh, we have a vintage humidor full of all kinds of old stuff, new stuff. Um, beautiful stuff, rare stuff. Uh, we've got three lounges um, and uh, TVs, a shark, uh, a fish tank, grills for grilling, Traeger. Uh, things are good. So come and visit us here at Lord Puffer. Uh, we're here. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of Tony Soprano. Tony Soprano, I could probably pull off pretty easily by um, just uh, you know wearing a suit jacket. I don't know. He's, I got, I got my, my hair is looking really good right now. It's like in a good spot. So I don't want to cut it or mess it up. You know, I, I don't want to have to go all method acting on this. Tony Sopranos. That's one. Um, yeah. I don't know. I will post a picture tomorrow on speakeasy and on Lord Puffer. And uh, you guys will see what I decided for my costume for tomorrow's holiday. Uh, it is Halloween. Come in and get your Halloweeny cigars. If you are dressed up, uh, you'll get a special picture with me posted on Lord Puffer's page. Uh, all right. Thank you so much, guys. This has been a fun show, getting all of your ideas about what I could do. Ooh, Johnny Bravo. Yes, I've gotten that before. I like that one. That's a good one. Homer Simpson, but dressed as Carlito. Brandon, Brandon coming here at the end strong. Homer Simpson, but dressed as Carlito. Oh, oh, look, we've got a special fine message here from Cindy. Good afternoon, JJ. Happy Fuente Friday. Sorry I cannot tune in earlier. Sending all my best to sisters and brothers of the Leaf. You are offering another great package this week. Happy Halloween to all. That deserves, you know what that deserves? That deserves a little bit of this. That deserves happy Halloween weekend to all.
Oh, I'm feeling silly today. All right, everybody. Uh, let me just show you this deal one more time. One more time. There it is. You get it by going to lordpuffercigars.com. It's uh, this deal right here. All you got to do is just pick on it. It's $79.99 for Casa Cubas. And don't forget, I've got these beautiful shirts in XL and double XL that I am wearing today. Um, waiting for you on the store. Uh, while supplies last 65 bucks right here is this is it's got you've got the opus x label it says fuente fever 33 degrees which is 33 degrees san diego then you've got the lord puffer on the side uh it's a beautiful 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 shirt to go out smoking dinner in dancing it's that really nice like wrinkle resistant material port authority shirts really high quality uh engraving here it, the opus x symbol looks fantastic uh i have them in cream and it, it's the cream with the blue so it's the 20th anniversary blue right super dope but only in the double xl and xl 64.99 they're on the on the website you got to get on there if not you can just give me a call it's real simple 858-800-2004. Um, but you have Opus. I can deal with that. Yes, yes, yes. Casa Cuba for the win. Lovely package. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's this here? Do you guys now have no black cats, no Roman candles, screaming mini, snicker bombs? Yeah, no. Sorry, dude. That is straight up Texas talk right there. That is Texas talk. All those fireworks are not available. They are not available for us. Um, but we do have this. We do have Opus. Mm hmm. Absolutely. So everybody, I uh, want to say thank you so much for joining the show today. I am JJ Williams, otherwise known as Cigar JJ. Um, I am straight out of Lord Puffer Cigars right here in Escondido, California. Right outside of San Diego, uh, we have our show here every single Friday, and we are ready for you to come visit, to visit our store, to come in and say hi, to visit us online, and to share this with everybody. All right, everybody. Well, Lord Puffer is out. It's Fuente Friday. Enjoy this big weekend. Get yourself excited for next week. And if I don't say it enough, let me just tell you this. Go outside your house. Go to someone at your work. Go to someone you meet. Right? And go be nice to somebody. Right? It's time to be nice. Go out and be nice to somebody. Do good. Make the world a better place, everybody. I want to say thank you from Lord Puffer, all of us here at Lord Puffer. Uh, thank you guys for joining us today, Fuente Friday. We are out, and it is fun. Have a great weekend. Look for the picture tomorrow to see how, who I dress as for the whole day tomorrow. Do some good. Be good people. Do the right thing. All right, everybody. Peace out. Don't forget this. Bang. See you later. <laughs>